Hey YouTube, welcome to this tutorial, and today in GIMP we're going to be creating my YouTube background, specifically the gradients on the side in the middle. We're not going to be uh, using a actual YouTube background, but we're just going to show you the um, themes that I used to apply uh, this YouTube background. So let's get started, uh, make a new image, uh, 640 by 480 will be fine. Let me just center this. Oh, um, so I've been uh, trying to get this uh, full screen feel, and apparently in GIMP 2.8, it will be a full uh, screen sort of a program, sort of like Photoshop, but um, it's going to be really awesome, just because it's so hard to have like one toolbar, having to switch between layers, and way too complicated, and it doesn't really need to be. Um, Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to fill in the background with black. We're going to take our rectangular select tool. Um, click um, rounded corners. And we're going to use about nine. Drag a rectangle. About like that. Um, make a gradient of like a light orange, darker orange. And um, FGWG. That looks good. That looks good. Select none. And you should probably have done that on a new layer. So let's redo that. Make a new layer. Whoops. Make a new layer. And then we can just do this again. Select none. And now what we're going to do. Um, is the hardest part of this tutorial. Um, making sort of the uh, shadows um, that I have. Um, we're going to take our ellipse select tool. Um, and really the hardest part of this is knowing where to place the gradients. So that makes that's why this tutorial is so advanced. Um, so, like, it's, you have to have a real eye for it, and it takes a lot of practice to know where it goes. It's it's pretty complicated. So, um, basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a uh, black new layer, and just gonna stroke. Whoops, forgot to put it to FG to transparent. You're just gonna stroke and make this sort of a um, effect where it looks like um, it's, it's being cut and um, actually going to duplicate that and uh, flip it whoops had that on horizontal that looks good um, yeah so you're going to need to know uh, where everything goes just so that looks good um, you're going to take your rectangular select tool, make a new layer, and then you're going to stroke again, and you're just going to lower the opacity a little bit on that. And a cool thing I found, if you duplicate it, and then like, move it over a little bit, and then lower the opacity on both of these, then it sort of creates like a 3D effect. That's good. Um, these circles need to be a little bit lower opacity. That's 69. Whatever. That looks good. Um, and we're going to um, duplicate this and flip it. Duplicate this and flip it. There you go. So you sort of have that uh, cool effect, and both of these need to get moved over a little bit, just because it's looking unsymmetrical. That looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select sort of the top layer, put your foreground color to white, make a new layer, and stroke up with white, 
you can select none. Put the layer mode overlay. That looks good. Um, trying to see a little bit up. Yeah, that looks good. We're going to take our lip select tool and um, stroke it down with the black on a new layer. Stroke down. Select none. Uh, we're going to duplicate it. And then we're just going to click the down key a couple of times. So that sort of has a cool effect. Um, and lower the opacity of both a little bit. And you don't really want to put it on the overlay. Just because it gives you like that sallow wan color. I, don't, I really don't like it. Really doesn't give you the effect that I want. I mean, you can use it if you want, but you don't really have to. Um, I don't really like it. We're actually gonna blur this a little bit, just because it looks a little solid. So five blur. I'll definitely take care of it. Um, you really don't want to blur a lot of things, just because of the effect that it'll give you. But um, we're gonna take um our lasso tool make a new layer and um... I'm gonna redo that selection, I don't really like the way that looks that looks good better select none See how this looks on the overlay. I mean, like, that just really doesn't look the way I want it to. And we're gonna duplicate that, and then just flip it. So that sort of has like a weird effect. Um, I don't know how much I like that. That looks better. You know, it takes a lot of study just to see what each effect does. I mean, that sort of gives, like, a cool effect, I guess. Um, that looks good. I know, I know I'm not being very clear right now, but um, it, it, you gotta study the image and see what you're trying to get. Um, a lot of it is just like scrutinizing the image and um, yeah so that looks good for now not really sure how much I like these if I move them over here That looks a little bit better. Maybe I can turn up the opacity on these. That looks that looks way better. Um, I'm gonna leave this area a little bit blank, just because I think it highlights it more. And you could put like text here, like how I did. So I think I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm just showing you guys a bunch of um, technique techniques. This really does not look very good but hopefully you'll spend a lot more time than I have since this is just for a tutorial. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, uh, and have a great day.